Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you a quick tip for how to easily increase FPS for your KSP2 without too much sacrifice. The only thing you need is an NVIDIA GPU. Now, while we are all hoping for DLSS or FSR support in the future, did you know that NVIDIA has another feature that does something similar? It's called NVIDIA Image Scaling and it's a driver-based upscaling feature that uses a combination of sharpening and an upscaling algorithms without AI or need for a tensor course. To use it, go to the settings in the GeForce experience, scroll down and turn on the image upscaling option. Note that your screen may flicker for a moment like it did in my case. You can also directly let the software optimize your games for this newly activated feature if you want to. Now you can see that it directly offered me several resolutions to use for the game rendering. If you don't have 4K monitor like me, here's a list of all the options for the other resolutions. Try to play with the setting a bit to see what is the sweet spot for you personally. For now, I will leave it at 85%. If you don't have GeForce experience, you can go to NVIDIA control panel, choose manage 3D settings and on the first row turn on the image scaling option. You can also enable the overlay indicator to see if the NIS is active or not in the game. When you now launch the game and go to the graphic settings, you should see a new available resolution. Choose it and the NIS should become active. If you have the overlay indicator on, you can see it green in the top left corner. If it's not active, it will be blue. Although it's not shown in my screen recording, you can notice that the game is already recorded in lower than default 4K resolution. And that's it, you have successfully enabled NVIDIA image scaling on KSP2. You can now enjoy the game with higher FPS and still decent quality. You can see that in my case, the FPS improvement is up to 100% sometimes, which is quite significant for only a 15% decrease in the rendered resolution. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more KSP2 tips and tricks. And let me know in the comments how much of improvement has the NIS brought to you specifically. Thanks for watching and see you next time.